Hey everybody, Stephanie Brewer here with Kids First Education coming at you with Math in a Minute or Two. We're going to look at percents today. First thing we're going to talk about is what does a percent mean? Well, we see that we have here a 10 by 10 grid containing 100 boxes. Well, it's a very good visual for what percent means because percent means per hundred. So if I shade one little yellow box, I've shaded one out of 100 so that I have shaded one per cent, one per hundred. It, now I've shaded 10 little boxes. What do you think that is? You're right, 10%. Now each column is 10 boxes, so 10, 20, 3, this is 23%. Getting the hang of it? Okay, let's go for another one. Oh, my goodness, we have every box shaded. How many boxes is that? 100 out of 100. So this is 100%. That's why 100% means the entire whole. So let's look at this one. It's a little trickier. It is just half a box. Well, half a box is half of a percent. Half of a percent. So now let's apply it. We have a 100 grid here, and I have 300 apples. Just imagine that. And we want to distribute them equally into each of the individual boxes. What would I do? Hmm. I have 300 as a whole. 300 divided into 100 boxes will be, you got it, 3. Well, what if I go ahead and put all three in there for you? We can look at these, and I want to look at 20%. Well, I have shaded 20 boxes for you. So what is 20% of 300? Well, let's look at the boxes. Hmm. 3 times 10 is 30, so there's 30 in the first column. That means there's also 30 in the second column. How many in both columns? 60. 20% 20 of 300 is 60. This is a visual model for what percent means. Now let's go uh, and kick it up a notch. But if you notice, I put a think cloud to the left. In that think cloud, I will put what you would want to put in your calculator if you are using one. John bought a toy that was originally priced at $10. What was the sale price if the toy was discounted 30%? Well, the whole is $10, $10 into 100 boxes. So 10 divided by 100 is, if you used your calculator or if you just uh, used your brain, you get 10 cents. So there's 10 cents in every box, and I won't continue to put, write it out for you in every little box. Now it says that it was discounted 30%. Well, discount means to take it off. It's going to be a sale, right? You don't want it to be more. So let's look at that. Here's 30%. And we said there's 10 cents in every box. Hmm. So how much is in 30 boxes? Well, if you use your calculator, 10 cents times 30 will give you, you got it, $3. But when I look back at the question, it says, what was the sale price? We just calculated the discount. So, hmm, we haven't answered the question yet. Let's, so I've shaded it in green, the part that we have to pay, which is the sale price. We don't have to go back through everything because we know that the whole was $10 minus the $3 that will give us $7. And we're done. Let's do another one. Use a percent grid to show that 20% of a business's 2,400 employees are classified as minorities. How many employees are minorities? All right, well, we know that the whole is 2,400. And again, I want to look at 20%. I shaded 20%. We said we had 2,400 employees and we want to divide it into the 100 boxes. That will give us 24. 
So I have 24 in each of those boxes. What's something that I could do to figure this out? Well, 24 times 20 boxes, which gives us 480 minorities. Good job. Next problem. In one Texas county, there are 102 schools that have improved school lunches. These schools represent 68% of the county. How many schools are in the whole county? Well, this is different because we don't know the whole. But what do we know? Well, the first thing we know is 68%. So I went ahead and shaded 68% for you. But I know I have to fit 102 schools into those 68 boxes. Well, my handy dandy calculator will help me or I can do it by hand. 102 divided by 68 will give you 1 and 5 tenths. Now the question is, how many schools are in all 100 boxes? Well, that is 1 and 5 tenths times 100, which will give us, I'm listening, what do you think, what do you think, what do you think? 150 schools. 150 schools. Very good. A utilities company from Idaho donated $35,000 to the kids for a school district. It stipulated that $4,200 must be spent on school supplies. What percent of the total grant is that? Well, if you notice, I put a couple of think clouds here because we're going to work it a couple of ways. What's our whole? $35,000. Nice. Well, I'm going to have 35,000 divided by 100, just like we've been doing, and that will give us 350. Now, the goal is to see how many boxes it takes to fill up for 44,200. I'm going to just start filling up boxes because I just want to play with it. Well, if I fill up one column, 350 times 10, that gives me 3,500, not quite there. And I started filling up more until, whoops, I filled up to 4,200. Now, I did it that way, and I filled up how many boxes? You're right, 12. So that's 12%. Now, someone else may have wanted to do it like this. For how many 350s fit in 4,200? That would still be 12. Or some folks might want to do it by... Part to whole, 4,200 is the part, 3,500, I mean, 35,000 is the whole, and use that in the calculator and you'll get uh, 12, 12 hundredths, which is translated to 12%. Nice. 123 is what percent of 150? Now, what's the whole? You got it, 150. I want to figure out. Again, 150 divided by 100, that gives me 1.5. How I'm going to do it by thinking about it first. Again, so in this one column, I have 15. If I fill up columns of 15 all the way to here, I have 120. With one, two more boxes will give me 123. Now, you can see that I have filled up 82 boxes, so I have 82%. If you want to do it with a calculator, 123, which is the part to the whole of 150, and you will get 82 hundredths, which translates to 82%. Good job. One more. What percent of 1,000 is 5? This one is my favorite. So as we look at the whole, that's 1,000. If you look at this one column, the whole column would be worth 100 because it takes 10 hundreds to make a thousand, then what would be in one little box? You guessed it, 10. Well, if I have 10 in one little box, how will I represent five? Yes, half of a box. So that means the what percent of 1,000 is five? One half percent. Great job, everybody. This has been Math in a Minute or two coming at you from Kids First Education. For more Math in a Minute videos, visit our website at www.kidsfirst.llc. Kids First, always.